Hello there. Welcome back to Cold Case Cause. It's been a while. Sorry for the long hiatus. I had a lot going on in life. But we're here at Hesperus Mountain, and that is Hesperus Peak in the background. It's a 13,239 foot mountain peak right outside of Mancus, Colorado. And this is the peak that Ian O'Brien summited um, and sent a picture to his girlfriend and then disappeared afterwards and never showed back up to his campsite. So it's a mystery. Um, there was a four day search by the uh, Montezuma County Sheriff's, uh, Mr. Nolan, Sheriff Nolan, and um, turned up nothing. So Ian was a 28 year old ultra marathon runner and um, backcountry survivalist. Um, he knew the mountains well, he knew this mountain well. He had uh, summited it many times in the past. Um, he was here camping with his girlfriend um, on road 566, which is not far from here, just right down the mountain this way. Um, and he left at 2 p.m. To take a hike to go up to this peak so sharks tooth trail is just on the other side of these trees right here and this is the basin that goes up to Hesperus Peak um, right now I'm at about 13,000 foot elevation um, so it's said that he scouted a path from the west so this would be the west over here so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna literally go right down this dip right here and go straight out and then try to get on that ridge and go up that ridge and see what I can see. I got really good binoculars. Um, I got the dogs with me too. Um, this morning we did a big hike uh, on the Aspen Loop Trail um, just to see what we could see early in the morning. It had rained last night so the, the everything was real quiet. All the allergens and the uh, smells were all down and it was nice and cool and I really thought that if there was something around that we'd be able to get um, get the dogs to alert on it. But um, nothing so far, but I just wanna show you how beautiful this country is out here. And um, some mysterious woods, let me tell you, at night. But uh, we're gonna camp up here tonight and we're gonna hit this hard. We're gonna go down and try to go up to this ridge to the west. And uh, I've been scanning this mountainside all afternoon just to see if I could see any glimmer of any type of clothing or any type of anything that shines in the sun, maybe some sunglasses or something. Sometimes you can catch little glimpses of that, um, but I uh, haven't seen anything so far, but uh, we are here at the, at the base of this Hesperus Peak in beautiful uh, Colorado, right outside of Mancus, Colorado, just northeast. And uh, we'll, the good Lord will give us a little luck. We're praying we can find some evidence of uh, where Ian O'Brien might have went. Um, it's said that Ian had epilepsy and uh, without his medication, he was prone to seizures. Uh, so um, that's what the family thinks that might have happened to him. But we're going to give it the college tryout here. Um, and uh, we're going to be here for a few days. And this is uh, the first segment of this hike. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to do another upload uh, up on that ridge where it's uh, show you all the view and how pretty it is. And um, see if we can't retrace some footsteps. And... Uh, you know, with some prayers, maybe we can make something happen up here. Um, thanks for watching. And again, I'm sorry for uh, not being around. I uh, had a lot going on in life, but uh, I'm ready to get back at it. This uh, is actually in my backyard, this case. I actually live as the crow flies just 30 minutes straight that way um, out on a mesa. So I had to get in on this because it was so close. Um, this is not the first disappearance here. David Lund also disappeared. Um, he was an ultra marathon runner on the same mountain. So on this two disappearances within two years. Uh, and uh, it's really strange and mysterious. So um, we're going to uh, keep our fingers crossed and be super careful and see what we can come up with. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have some good news and uh, God bless everybody. Have a great evening.